Alright guys, Scott here from the Mental Metal Channel and MentalMetalDetecting.com <laughs> I'm coming to you late in February, it's supposed to be like 45, 50 degrees today And uh, we're going to take the days two behind me out We're going to do some relic hunting today I'm at an old farm that I've had permission to hunt for, it seems like, forever But the farm is so big, there are actually areas that I have not been able to get to one because the farmer quit farming some of the property and it grew up really really big but now uh, it looks like they have been mowing some of this area that I have never been into so um, I'm really excited about that uh, really special treat today I'm actually going to use the uh, a couple different relic programs back to back going to compare them um, I'm running the Tecna program if you haven't uh, if you're not sure what that program is take a look over on uh, XP site Gary Gary Blackwell has put out a techno program that supposedly um, works really well. It runs with a discrimination of 42. It's kind of crazy to me, but I did run it in my test garden and it actually picked up all my targets, most of them. I think it did have trouble with the 10 and a half inch dime, but uh, yeah. So we're gonna try that out. And Southern Relic Adventures. Brian has uh, put out a program called the Sweeper. And I put that in here. They both run off of sensitive full tones. So we're gonna do a little like back and forth. If I get a target, I'm gonna compare it to the other one. I'm not really comparing to see which one's better or not per se. I'm just testing them out to see which one I may may prefer in different settings. If I run into some iron, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, Brian's uh, sweeper program will be the ticket. And uh, they both run sensitive full tones. Like I said, they run pretty, pretty hot. So meaning they run really sensitive and they uh, they have the existing filters that were it's the only program I believe on the XP days 2 prior to I think version 7 1 or something like that they had some really really hot filters in there that were, make the machine runs makes the machine run really really sensitive but uh, very aggressive so uh, that's why this is uh, the sensitive full tones today we're gonna try it see what we can get all right I'm gonna fire it up here in a minute put on my gear and uh, head that way all right guys i'll see you in a minute all right guys real quick here is the sweeper program um got the big numbers turned on i'm gonna go through real quick i'm not gonna go through everything i'll put all their settings of course the machine's gonna go bonkers because it's sitting in my truck right now um 6.4 to scrim tones full tones um coming down uh what does that say? The offset is at 10. The B caps is at zero. There's not, uh, Brian left a notch in at 23, 24. Um, on Gary's program, there's no notch. Silencer of one, okay? Uh, getting out of this, uh, let's see. Sensitivity is at 90. Freak max is 40. Iron volume seven. Reactivity three. Audio response four. And there you go. I'm running it in high square tone. And I would believe the audio filter. Well, let's just go out here and make sure. Audio select. Um, go down. Audio filter of one. And I'm running high square. So there's that. Now let's go over. And like I said, I'm running these back to back. So. Um, no, that's a general. So here is the Techna program. You can kind of sound, it sounds pretty aggressive. Um, discrimination of 42. Full tones. Uh, offset of 10. B cap 0. No notch. And silent service 0. So if we get out of that, we go into. Sensitivity is at 95, a little bit more aggressive. 40 is the max for uh, Freak Max. Uh, the, um, what does that say? Sorry, RM volume, I can't see it. Uh, reactivity is three, audio response four. And if we get out of that, we go into the audio type is again, um, oops, I just had it, sorry. Select. Come down. I'm going to change this to high square. Oops, I did it. Didn't do it right. Um, I can't see with my. I'm going through my phone here. 
I square. There we go. Okay. And get out of that. So I think that's it. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So let's get started. Let's get over there and, and root around a little bit. See if we can't find something. We'll compare the compare the two back to back. See what we get. All right, let's go. All right, we have finally made it back to the area I want to be here. Let's see what we come across here. I believe this used to be farming area over in this side of the field. You're getting a lot of feedback in that. You gotta find a good place to cross without killing myself. So stand loose, or stand loose, stand by. We're gonna just get into it. Got some really, really gnarly feedback though. Am I by a power line? Whew. All right, keep going. All right, I got my first target here with the uh, Techna program. It's coming in about 85, 86, sounded really funky. Let's see what the sweeper program says it is. Oh, it sounds better with the sweeper program. I like that. A little more. Although, it sounds like it might be iron on the end of it, so I don't know. The only way to find out is to dig it. And of course, I don't have my pinpointer, so got to do this old school today. No, I lost it. I hope that's not what I was hearing before. Yeah, I don't hear it. Right there off a little bit but it doesn't sound as good as it did still in there I'm gonna pinpoint it right there I know I'm making a mess here Got an electric line nearby. That's why I'm getting all this feedback. All right, let's see if it's out now. find it and I'll turn you back on all right so it turned out after I made this huge mess to be a bent piece of iron or something nothing uh, great but as our first signal together with both programs and um, now we kind of know what we're listening for here except for this feedback from the electric line which really sucks Comes and goes. All right. Just so you guys out there don't think I fill my holes. It's a ungroomed field, so it's as good as it's gonna get. All right, it got a 62 signal. Well, let's jump around a little bit. 64, 65, 66. That is the Techno program. Let's try Sweeper. Yep, about the same. 
I had to power my machine off and I think I uh, forgot to turn my Techno program into high square, but but PWM is work works okay too. But that does sound better. High square versus PWN in my opinion. PWM in my opinion. So let's dig this out, man. I wish I had a pinpointer today. <laughs> Ooh. Old school is not fun school. Got here anything popping out? I'm gonna make this a pretty big hole, hoping I, I get it all out at once. Save some time. Well, it's in there pretty good still. All right, let's keep going. I'm gonna turn the camera back on when I find it. Well, I think I found it. It is a shotgun shell casing stamp. That's what's causing that signal. That's a good signal though. And it was down our way, so. All right, two for two. I'm not comparing them to see which is better. Like I said, I'm just com comparing the sounds and what this thing's able to do. Crazy to me that you can discriminate out. 42 up to 42 so I'm trying to figure out the logic behind that but I guess it works it's working so next hole all right I got another strange signal here I believe this is iron that's techna sweeper I'm just hearing enough on the end of it to make me not want to dig that. But let's dig it anyway. You know the rule or the routine. I'll dig the hole and get back in a minute. All right, I finally got the culprit in my hand here. And no, it's not a worm. Doesn't sound very good. Is that it? A little nail yep so now we know what the crappy signals sound like we're not going to dig any more of those so let's move on so i got a decent signal here but uh so it hits uh, mid 80 this sounds really bad but if you turn on it listen doesn't sound good anymore so I think that's our secret weapon here just uh, to determine whether we're gonna dig or not we're gonna turn on it like we should and uh, keep going so I found this it hit in the high 80s um, I thought it was gonna be like an aluminum can but it's really heavy um, I think it's like a window weight or something but I'm not sure what that is it's got some writing on it I can't really tell what what the words are or the numbers looks like a number five zero five zero i don't know we'll keep digging back in here looks like i'm into a little hot spot of uh signals so we'll see let me turn up the speaker for you got another signal here 82 84 Let's hear what that sounds like. That's Techna. Let's hear what the sweeper sounds like. Sounds pretty good. I don't dig that up. I don't think that's going to be too deep. A lot of junk back here. Oh, wait. I see something green down there. Check it out. All right, what is that? No way. Get out of town. It's not a washer. So 
it a button? It is a button. Look at that. All right. Our first big flat button off this property in a long time. That's cool. There's no, nothing on it. Just a button. Woo. All right, we found our first relic. Let's keep going. All in this junk back here. Gonna sift through the junk. All right, right next to it is a really solid 61, 62, which if you're a Deus fan like me, it is a nickel. That was with the sweeper. Let's hear what it says with the Tecna. Yep, I would totally dig either one of those signals. Okay, so it's out of the hole. Let's see what it is. Of course, you know, it could be something junky. All right, it's up here. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's in my hand. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That looks like a nickel. What kind? A modern nickel. All right. Right next to each other. A modern nickel and a old flat button. Oh, boy. We're slowing down in here. All right. Nice. All right. Same spot. This is the Techno. Got an 84, solid 84. Turn. 86, 87. That's sweeper. I do think the sweeper is a lot quieter. Now, I do hear a little bit of iron in there. But I still get the sweeper, so we'll see. We will see what this one's going to be. Let's see if I got it out. Did I not get it? Oh man, it sounds really good up here. I don't think I dug the hole big enough. Oh wait, is that it right there? No. I would have been disappointed. It's gotta be in that plug. Yep, it is. All right. Let's see what this is. Doesn't sound like iron. Well, now it kind of does. Okay, so that's the iron. We don't want the iron. Is there anything else in here that's not iron? Yep, something's in here that's not iron. Sounds pretty good too. But I don't see it yet. Oop, must be this. What is that? A piece of foil or something? That's what it is. A little piece of foil. Aluminum wrapped up in there. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Well, that sounded pretty good, but to get in this junky area, let's keep going. All right, here's the Techno program pulling out a 57, 
Turn up speaker for you. Fifty-eight. Mid fifties. I don't expect this to be anything great. Turn on. I, I guess that's stubble. I can't get around. <laughs> Let's try it from the sweeper side. Yep. Fifty-seven, fifty-eight. All right, let's dig that up. This one might have some depth to it since it didn't sound too loud. I think I might see it already. I see something shiny in there. I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Sounds like it might be out. Ugh. Well, it's still in there. 59.60. This could be a nickel. Seen them. I've seen them ring up that low. All right, let me find it and I'll get back to you. All right, somewhere over here. Nope, not that. Not that. Nope. Oh, come on now, I just heard it. All right, it's in my hand. What is it? Oh, look, 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 look. I believe it's a coin. Like I told you, nickels will sometimes ring up that low. What is this one going to be? Oh, another modern nickel. <laughs> we're getting them, though. Dace loves nickels. All right, so uh, another good signal. At least we're finding something. Two nickels and a nice flat button. Well, let's keep it going. I'm not gonna lie, I think I like that sweeper program a lot. Cause I think that's another nickel right there. 61, well, sorry, let me, uh, let's listen to it, the Tecna program. That's what we're trying to do here. Just, I mean, it too sounds good. I would dig either or, either or of those signals. So the Tecna is a little more chattier, I'm noticing, which it's due to its sensitivity is 95 versus 90. So you might be able to get away with a lower sensitivity on it. I think I'm out. Yeah, you might be able to get away with a lower sensitivity, I'm thinking. Oh, damn, I thought it was out. Am I not getting it? What the heck? It's still in the middle, I think. Oh, I would kill to have a... Oh, I see it. You guys see it? I would kill to have a um, pinpointer right now. <laughs> so here is the, the other modern nickel, I think. Yep. That was probably dropped out of the quad or four wheeler that comes back through here. Right around the area I found the other one. So two nickels. We like coins. That's all right. Because one of these is going to be a big old green copper coin I think found many back not here but on this farm so there, there's a potential for that and silver all right let's, let's work our way back up the road that was two nickels here both uh, programs sounded really good now let's keep going 
Got another 60 signal here. Turn on it, sounds good. Let's see what the uh, sweeper sounds like. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good likelihood that might be a nickel. No doubt about that. I think that's a good chance. That might be a nickel. And it's ringing up high enough. It might be a war nickel. 64s. I think we're still in the hole. Yep. Take a little more out here. Yeah, I think it's in that clump right there. Let's see if we got ourselves another nickel. Don't see any in here yet. It's in the clay, if it is. No, not in there. Oh, it's in here. All right, what do we got? Is it gonna be a coin? Is it in this clump? I believe it is, but it's not gonna be a coin. What is that? Just a piece of bent up foil, I think. Yep, that easily could have been a nickel. But it wasn't. So there you have it. You can still dig junk. That's all right though. Two out of those three were nickels. All right, let's keep going. Here's a real nice signal. It's really loud. 86. That was with the sweeper. Techno. Right on top. My guess it is a penny. Or not. What is that? What is that? Oh, a piece of foil. One of those twist off caps. It'll get you every time. So much junk. All right, next hole. So if you don't think I'm into the junk, there's a lot of junk in here. That's a big piece of foil. So much junk in here. I'm just listening for those high squeakers that come out. Uh oh, posted private property. <laughs> I'm gonna be in trouble. There used to be a house site back in here. But I got bulldozed down. But the cans and all the other junk are still here. It'd be nice to find a bottle dump or something, but haven't found one yet. We'll keep looking. So what do you suppose that is right here? I don't know if you guys can see that. Make sure my camera's angled up. Looks like a little fort or something. Maybe it's a man-made deer blind or something let's see here let's go in here and see what it looks like is it a homeless shelter nope my guess is somebody was hunting in there looking up at this hill right here my guess yep that'd be my guess that's kind of cool Never seen something like that out here before. Another 60 signal with the sweeper. 
5961 Techna. Yep, same thing. Could be a nickel. Oh, there goes that feedback again. I must be getting close to the power lines. Ooh, dirt's really soft. All right, hopefully it's out. Yep, it's out. It's in this clump somewhere. Alright. I think it's going to be right in this one. And I am right. Oh, I saw. I see it. I see it. And it's green. Oh, man. That's crazy. I hope it's old. Don't be modern, please. Don't be modern. Don't be modern. Oh, I think it's a buffalo. I believe it's a buffalo. Yes. It is my favorite coin. I love that. I love a buffalo. I'll take that anytime, any day. Should be a nice Indian head on the back. But that is definitely a good find today. Buffalo nickel. Let's see if we can get a date out of that, but nice. All right. Score a button and a buffalo nickel. Now that I'm in here, it's not so junky. Let's see if there's any more laying around. Could be some silver. Do you know for a fact I have only ever found one silver coin in this property it was a standing liberty no it was a yeah it was a standing quarter or what they call walking liberty quarter and uh but everybody else i've come out here with who's come out here with me there's been reals found there's been other quarters found i haven't found jack silver wise so hopefully my luck will change today but i'll take that buffalo though that's sweet all right the sweeper has found me a 77 76 and it's going to be hurt easily by the techno no doubt about that one that is all around a good signal and it's real close to my buffalo nickel come on let's get another coin out of here Maybe we'll get an Indian head penny or something. Or maybe it'll be a can, because it looks like it might be some foil. Yep, piece of foil. All right. That's all right. We, uh, we'll take it. We'll take it out of here. That's what we'll do. Let's uh, keep going. All right, here we go again. It's today's the day of nickels. It's either a nickel or a piece of foil. That's with the uh, Techna program. Sweeper. God, I really like that sweeper program. <laughs> it just sounds good. Brian, you did a good job on that program, man. I like it. Well, I like it for nickels. <laughs> we'll see if we find anything else with it. Well, we did with the final button. Ooh, I don't know. Sounds a little funky. Now, get a little more out of there. Uh-oh, losing it. What'd I lose? Where'd it go? Might be buried deeper. All right, let me, uh, we'll just take the dirt out of the hole. I think it's going to be in this clump here. I don't see anything. Yep. Now I'm getting 52. So I don't know. 
may not be a nickel. Oh yeah, I forgot, I don't have a pinpointer. <laughs> Ooh, it's in that hand right there. It's in this hand. Ooh. This feels heavy, but it's not heavy. Just a piece of foil. And that would be it. Oh well. I knew it was either one. Nickel or foil. Alright, we're two two out of four for nickels. Gotta dig those though. A lot of people don't. And they don't get the nickels. Come on, let me let me hear a 90 signal in here. That'd be great. Or a high 80s, even be better. All right, let's keep going. All right, I'm getting some feedback from these power lines, but before the power lines kicked on, it was a nice ED signal right there. It's still an ED signal that way. If I turn the Techna on, it's gonna be really bad. Yeah. I'm gonna dig that even though <laughs> I'm having a real hard time with the EMI now. We'll dig it. It's really strange. It comes and goes. All right. Come on, be in this hole. Oh, I knew it. Still sounds good, though. Uh oh, is that it right there? Oh, that is it. Man. Piece of wire. Darn. Thought it might have been a nickel. Or not a nickel, a, a coin. A nice coin. Nope. I'm surprised I haven't found any like um, suspender clips, thimbles, or something. Just haven't found it I'm back here. Alright, let's keep going. All right, the sweeper found this signal. I'm a little bit higher above the ground, but it's hitting in the... Well, I did see it hitting 90 there once. All right, staying. That's a good signal. I'm not hearing any iron around it. Techna. Still sounds good. Oh yeah, we're digging that one. All right, this one's going to take a little bit to dig, so I'll come back in a minute. Well, I see what it is already. It is copper, <laughs> but it's not the copper I want. It's copper wire. God darn it. So much junk. That sounded good. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that definitely sounded good. On to the next one. All right, this one's exciting. Look, 92.93. I don't see anything on the ground around there. That's with the sweeper. Techna. Ninety-two, ninety-three, but I don't know. <laughs> Not sure about this one. It sounded good, but now that I turned on a little bit, it sounds kind of funky. Funky, I see. I'm in the middle of a field for crying out loud. The junk should be going away. I hope it's not going to be more wire. I should be. All right, did we get it out yet? No. Come on. That's not very hopeful. Not in there. Well, I don't know where it is. To be honest with you, 
Where'd it go? It's probably in this plug somewhere. Yeah, I think. Why did it go away? I don't like that. Not that. Not that. Not that. Did I not get it? Oh, I think I heard it. I heard it in here. All right, it's in this clump, which is not very deep. So that's kind of disheartening a little bit. But... It still sounds like a coin, though. All right, we're getting down to the bottom here. I don't know what it's probably. What are you? I don't see a coin. Or do I? Sounds like a nice high tone, but yet I can't find it. Oh, it's right here. What is that? What are you, my friend? You look like a shot bullet. Man. Thought we had it. Thought we had a coin. A nice coin. Thought it might have been silver, but no. Not there. Bummer. Oh, well. Sounded good. Hey, check it out. I think Rocky will love this. That's a Kong ball. Those are supposed to be indestructible. Yeah, well, we'll see. I'll give that to Rocky. What do you think, Rocky? We'll see if he destroys that one or not. I don't know why that's up here. I'm out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I mean, this is what it looks like. Nothing. So far and fields as far as the eye can see. It's a nice property though. I found a uh, KG back here one time with an AT Pro years ago. But they don't farm it anymore so it grows up. This is the first time I've been able to get in here with some roads that the hunters have made. So it's kind of cool. I get back here a little bit. Well, we found a buffalo nickel and button. and So it's not a bad trip today. Even though I'm not killing it, I'm still uh, happy with my results so far. All right. <laughs> Today's the, the day of nickel signals, signals here. 6162 with the sweeper. Techna. About the same. Give me a little bit of higher. Oh, there it is. Surprise if that's a nickel up back here, but switch back over to the sweeper. It seems to be a little less prone to EMI because it's not not it's got a 90 sensitivity versus 95. It's very rocky up here. And no, not the dog. I wouldn't be surprised if it's another nickel from the hunters especially in this clearing oh yeah right there has not changed let's try to get this close nope oops in here Maybe. All right. What is it gonna be? Oh, it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be what I thought. What is that? Piece of folded up metal. Man. I'm not sure what that is. But it's a good signal. It is brass. At least it looked like it was brass. I can't 
truck way over there. Look, nice pond down there. Some nice fish in that pond, let me tell you. They'll eat, they'll eat out of your hand, basically. Nice bass in there. All right, let's keep going. So I came from there, and now I'm in the field. And I got a good signal to sweeper, sweep, sweeper program here. 70, 68, 71. Should not have any interference now. Oh, that was the Techna program. Sorry, this is the sweeper. Techna. Turn on it. it sounds the same, but I don't really ever dig anything good in this range, but I'm going to dig it anyway. See, now I'm getting all iron. There it is again. Yeah, I don't know about this one. Ooh. Oh, now it's coming in good. 75. Like I said, this is usually a junk range. Come on, mental metal, get this damn thing out of the hole. I don't think it's going to be iron. All right, give me a second. Obviously, I need help. All right, I got it out of the hole. 74, 75. Let's see what this is going to be. Not in that one. Not in that one. Nope. 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 Where is it? Huh. You gotta be kidding me. Alright. It's in this one. Well, it was. Now what I do with it? Did I drop it? Snap. I just had it in my hand. All right, let's see. All right. Is that it right there? I think it's, I think it is. It might be lid. Yep. So it's a piece of lid. Hard bullet of yesteryear. A lot of those around this farm. Ooh, that one uh, evaded me for quite a while. All right, I'm in. I'm in the Techno program and just came out of nowhere. Got some corn stuff around here, jacking my swing up. Seventy-nine. Sounds like it's right on top. Wish I had a pinpointer, that'd be helpful, but I don't. It's a good signal though. Sweeper. Seventy-eight, not deep. Of course, farm fields, you never know. Just because it's not deep doesn't mean it's not old. Did it go? Hmm, I don't like that. Just lose it like that. What is going on, XP? Is that buried in the hole again? Should be hearing that no matter what.
All right, let me find it. Ridiculous. All right. 78. Let's see what she is. Well, it's in my hand. Whatever it is. Doesn't look like it's gonna be anything great. I don't see nothing jumping out of my face here. Do you? Nope. What is it? Until I lost it again. I can't see anything in my hand that would. Oh, wait. There it is, right there. A bullet. All right, it was a little brass bullet throwing me off. Those little things, those little stinkers. But, came in loud and proud. Okay. Heading up over this ridge line, cutting down over, and I'm gonna call it a day. So stay with me, we're almost done. All right, sweeper just came across this signal. <laughs> 80s, turning on it. I did see a flash of iron in there. So I don't know, Techna sounds really, yeah, I don't know about this one. I'm going to guess a plow part. That's what I'm guessing to this signal. I would not be surprised with deep plow points that are heavy to carry out. But I would suspect it could be one of those. And I'm sure it'll be down there a ways. Let's see if we got lucky and got it. Nope. <laughs> yeah, it's down there a ways. All right, hang loose. I'll get it out of the ground here. All right, I found it. It is not a plow part. It is a bolt with some washers on it. So a rubber washer and then a metal one. So uh, yeah, I was fooled. I thought that would surely be a plow part or something. Not so much. All right, next hole. All right, so I didn't film this in the beginning because I wasn't sure. Well, I honestly just didn't really think about it, but check it out. Techno signal, E384. Go over to sweeper. Same thing, E3. Now I just got to find it. It's down it pretty good, so... Watch this one turn out to be the plow point. Be nice to end on a green copper. Will I? Highly doubtful. All right, let me come back. That's sounds like it's getting out and down deeper so back in a minute well it is out of the hole but it does not sound anything like it was <laughs> I think it's gonna be some iron sure sounds like it is that it right there piece of nail son of a gun Is that, the, is that what, was, what the signal was? Sure is. Man. Thought for sure that was going to be something decent. Maybe a copper signal or something. 
Nope. All right, that will probably be my last hole. Make everything flat for the former. All right. So I just got a signal right here. It was in the 60s. I didn't even film it because I thought there's no way it's gonna be anything good. And then I flinged it with my hand and I lost it. But I think I've seen it. And it's round. Check it out. Look at that. What is that going to be? Button or coin? I don't know. I think it's going to be a button. Yep. They have some design on there. All right, end with a button. Let's call it a day. You like that ball, huh? Do you, do you like that ball? Do ya? That's the Kong ball I found in the woods, or in the field. I think it's a hit. All right, guys, so I'm back from my hunt. I was over at a field, my old, old permission I've had for years. <laughs> Rocky's throwing a ball, because dropped the ball on my foot, because I just found him that Kong ball, and he's gonna drive me crazy. Um, tried the uh, Techno program from Gary Blackwell, and I tried the Sweeper program from Southern Relics, Southern Relic Adventures, Brian, and um, I really like both of them. I think both of those programs are really, really good. I was testing it out on Relics today. Um, it's not a lot. To, I mean, to find something at that farm is pretty amazing because it's a very, very big farm. And uh, I hunted that farm for many years and so have a lot of other people. So for what we found today, it was pretty good. Let me show you what I got. Did find some junk. I mean, these are signals you would dig anyway. Kind of bolts. Got an aluminum can there, part of one. Some <coughs> some uh, wire, shotgun cap. You know, some bent iron. Um, didn't dig hardly any nails. I got one little one here. Um, bent bent iron something. Some more foil. So all in all, but I did find. Look, what to me this looks like a a, a window wheel <coughs> or something. And. Uh, Sorry, Rocky's going to be a pain. Some bullets here, a piece of brass here. Um, and then I got some buttons and some coins. <laughs> you need to calm down, Rocky. Um, I got some nickels today. I got one buffalo. I was really excited about that. And then two nice buttons, flat buttons. So one big one and one small one. There's nothing really on them. But uh, regardless, not a, bad, not a bad outing for just a couple hours. So, <laughs> All right, sorry about Rocky's crazy attitude anyway um all in all the programs were great i really i'm in the sun here face this way how's that um i really like the programs i thought they worked really really well i think i will have and keep these in my uh days to set up from now on have been there everything i heard today i could hear with my relic program uh the one i made from jay strongbow's uh setup but but i did like out of the two today, the Techna and the Sweeper program, I really like Brian's program. The Sweeper program is nice. I like it at a lower th sensitivity. It doesn't run as hot as the uh, Techna one. But it, with the discrimination of 42 and a Techna, I, I don't understand why, but it just works. Um, so good, good on both you guys for uh, those programs. They will be in my remote from now on, and I will use them when I see fit. They are they're definitely good in just about any condition but i know brian and his sweeper program southern relic adventures claims it's really good in iron so um had a lot of junk and some iron today but not a lot of iron like he experiences and um so i had a lot of interference too with uh with the power lines but that's all right we got through it but that's all i hope you guys enjoyed the video hope it was a nice comparison we weren't trying to see which one was better we just wanted to see how these programs operated and uh, how they reacted to signals in the wild. So there you go. We were in the wild. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you in another mental, mental video.